Alright guys, this is that time of the week again and we are ready to dive into our championship predictions ahead of the weekend. At the end of a three game week, plenty can change, teams can start to build up some momentum and others can seriously drop like a stone. As always, I want to hear your thoughts on these games in the comments down below. Now, as I am away in midweek, I've had to record this video ahead of time and I've had to do it before the midweek games have taken place for full disclosure. But nevertheless, we've still got plenty of juicy games to dive into and on those midweek games, make sure to get your thoughts on them in the comments down below but without any further ado let's jump in starting out on the friday night game between birmingham and west brom this one could get tasty we've had quite a few entertaining encounters between these two sides over the last few years in recent times, it has actually been Birmingham who have had the edge on West Brom in this fixture. The last three meetings between these two sides, Birmingham have come out on top. But West Brom starting to get a bit of momentum about them. That performance from the weekend against Preston is obviously still fresh in my mind. And I think that if they're as good in this game as they were against North End at the weekend, then they will cause this Blues side a lot of problems. Birmingham, who have struggled for much consistency recently, but it does feel like if they are to get things back on track, Okay starting with the home form will be absolutely crucial in doing that I think this one will be fairly tight between the two sides to be honest I wouldn't be totally surprised if the outcome is a draw West Brom gathering a bit of momentum wouldn't be surprised if they sneak it but I'm gonna go for a 1-1 one -one between these two to kick off the weekend Sunderland against Middlesbrough should be plenty of fun now I have liked more what I've seen from Middlesbrough recently but this will be a real test for them because while they have been getting better showing more attacking intent getting into those good positions and most importantly they've been a bit, little bit more clinical in these past couple of weeks where those vulnerabilities are they're still in the back line and a side as good as Sunderland who are looking like a top six outfit right now they are good enough to punish this Borough side but ultimately Sunderland are in the place where Middlesbrough want to be aiming for so if Middlesbrough are going to be this top six outfit that we all expect them to be at the start of the season these are the games where they're really going to have to stand up and be counted, show their quality and be brave enough to really take the game to Sunderland and it's fair to say that Sunderland still have had a fair few slip ups at home so far this season and there certainly are a few vulnerabilities to be had there with that being said I am expecting a really open game of football between these two, I think it will be quite an entertaining one for a neutral fan to watch I just think that Sunderland have a bit more about them right now at both ends of the pitch, score prediction in this one going to go 2-1 Sunderland I can definitely see both sides scoring in that one but I'm giving the edge to the home team next then we go to Cardiff up against Watford Cardiff coming into this game as the favourites Watford still a side capable of throwing a spanner in the works just feel like with some of their lapses in defence Cardiff will look to take advantage of those situations and it is worth pointing out just how good Cardiff have been at home so far this season they've won four of their five home matches up until this point and do I see Watford changing that I'm not too sure for Watford I think this upcoming coming month is actually going to be quite crucial for them if they are going to turn around uh, this recent run of results and um, after they get this test against Cardiff out of the way they've got games coming up against Sheffield Wednesday, Swansea, Millwall, Huddersfield and Rotherham so all teams who are in and around them in the table right now all within touching distance if that's the point where Ishmael can string together a consistent run of results then maybe Watford have got something here if not this is where things could go quite sour, um, in my opinion. Score prediction in this game, I think I've got to back Cardiff, um, if I'm honest, the run they've been on recently. Going to go 2 nil Cardiff in this game, just think that home form will pull them through in this one. After that, for Coventry up against Norwich. Norwich did do the double over Coventry last season. I remember the game at Coventry was a thoroughly entertaining one. Norwich walking away with a 4-2 away victory. It was one of David Wagner's first games in charge of Norwich and they put in an absolutely dazzling attacking performance. Plenty has changed since that point but I would expect a fairly open game of football here where I can see both sides creating a fair few chances. I think this is the sort of game where I definitely have both teams to score uh, down four and while Coventry have been quite draw heavy so far I think there are still those vulnerabilities to pick out with that Norwich side but on the flip side I think they'll also be fancying their chances to get a goal or two against this Coventry back line score prediction here I'm going to go for an entertaining 2-2 draw I think you can see a few goals being scored there 
Next then to Ipswich up against Preston. It has been a hard run of games that Preston have had recently. And I always think that these three game weeks, especially when you go from midweek to the weekend, the team that's played back-to-back -back home matches, I always think has the advantage over the team that's been on the road in quite quick succession like Preston have, obviously, coming off the back of that Leicester game straight into this test against Ipswich. Also with Ipswich playing on the Tuesday, Preston playing on the Wednesday, slight advantage there with Ipswich having that extra recovery and I mean this is the sort of game where as a Preston side we can't afford to be leggy with how much Ipswich like to open up the pitch especially at home I am expecting the home side to have more of the ball more of the chances but as Preston have proven quite a few times on the road so far we can be quite savvy in picking our moments going forward and when we've needed to be um, at times this season we have been fairly clinical with that being said it is going to be one of the biggest tests I think of North End season so far obviously coming off the back of a game against Leicester straight into this one against Ipswich Reluctantly, I do think Ipswich may edge this one. Don't think there'll be a hell of a lot in it, but I'm going to go 2-1 Ipswich as a score prediction here and hope that I'm proven wrong. Next then we go to Ellen Road for Leeds up against Bristol City. This will be an interesting test for Daniel Farker's side. I'd imagine Bristol City would adopt a similar sort of game plan in this game as we saw them do in that game against Leicester. Ultimately, they didn't have a whole lot going forward, but defensively it was a really resilient performance and ultimately only lost against a very good Leicester side thanks to a late penalty. And imagine this to be the sort of game where they will look to frustrate Leeds for large parts of the game. And I can imagine that working you know we've seen teams set up in that way against Leeds so far this season and Leeds have become a little bit frustrated on some of those occasions with that being said the sort of match where I think if Leeds score really it's a question of whether or not Bristol City have enough in them to then change that dynamic um, and actually go for it themselves with some chances in the final third score prediction here I definitely still think that Leeds have those vulnerabilities that Bristol City can exploit but I think I'm back in Leeds as the home team in this one score prediction going to go 2 -0 the leads in that game. Next then we go to Leicester up against Stoke. I think a lot of the sides visiting Leicester this season will go into this sort of game thinking that a point will be a really good result and maybe even a few sides will see this game as a little bit of a free hit. With that being said, Hull earlier on in the season have already proven that it is possible to get the job done going away to Leicester. Obviously, they got a brilliant 1-0 away win and if Leicester do drop their performance levels by 10-20%, a side can catch you out like that. Obviously, Stoke have been very up and down in these early stages of the season under Alex Neil while they continue to bed a lot of players is in. I just think that with that muscle memory that Leicester have got, the familiarity with a lot of their players at this point in time, it probably carries them through this game. And against the Stoke side, who have looked a little bit defensively suspect at times as well, I think that Leicester could take advantage of a few of those situations. Score prediction here, going to go 3-1 Leicester. I think they'll be most team's hardest game this season, especially going to Leicester away. Next then we go to the den for Millwall up against Hull. Now Millwall have been a really tricky side to put your finger on so far this season. Stereotypically we'd say for a championship side going away to the den, oh you know you'll be in for a tough afternoon and things along those lines. So far this season that's not really been the case for Millwall. Now Last season, over the course of the entire season, Millwall only lost six games at the Den. Already this season, they've lost three of their first five home matches, with two of those games being 3-0 defeats. So from that aspect, how flexible Hull like to be, they'll probably fancy their chances going off a few of Millwall's previous home performances. But with that being said, they've still got the spine of a very good team who, when they're completely on it, are capable of turning up with a performance. It does feel as if the first goal in this game will be quite important. If Millwall get it, I can see them hanging on for all three. If it goes the other way for Hull, suddenly things could get a little bit nervy and maybe even a little bit toxic um, if it's another home defeat. Score prediction in this one, I think it's Hull that I'm fancying. They've just had that more consistency about their play throughout the season. Score prediction here, going to go 2-0 Hull. After that, we go to Plymouth up against Swansea. Now, before a ball have been kicked this season, we spoke about how crucial it would be that Plymouth take full advantage of their home form. It's what really carried them over the line, obviously, in that League One campaign. And so far this season, the vast majority of their points in the championship have been collected in home matches. While they've not found their flow on the road so far, they have been really threatening in the vast majority of those home games. And I think they will take the game to Swansea in this one. While the Swans have had a bounce recently under Michael Duff, 
these three game weeks can take it out of you. It is the sort of game where, once again, I could see both teams getting on the score sheet. With that being said, I think it's Plymouth who I'm slightly edging in this encounter. Score prediction here, going to go 2-1 Plymouth. Just got a gut feeling in that one that they may just sneak it. Next then to QPR up against Blackburn. I hadn't actually realised, but when I was looking over each championship side's home and away form, QPR, one of the teams yet to win a match at home this season. The vast majority of their points so far have been collected on their road. And looking at their home form, they've only got one point to show for their first home matches. A lot of the teams that are predicted to be in and around the bottom three this season, home form will be absolutely crucial, having those fans drive you on in these sorts of home matches. And a game against Blackburn, I think, this one's actually quite unpredictable to be honest while Blackburn haven't really been at it in recent weeks they are coming off the back of a quite tricky fixture running and looking at the next month to come the fixture list does start to ease up a little bit for John Doll Thomason's men that's all well and good on paper but suddenly they need to put that into action and actually start putting together a decent run of form I wouldn't be surprised if this one was won by one goal either way in saying that I think I'm going to go for a draw between these two. Score prediction here, I'm going to go for a 1 1 there. And what a game we've got going on at Hillsborough this weekend. It's Sheffield Wednesday up against Huddersfield. The fact that the fixture list has worked out in this way, where Darren Moore's only just got his feet under the table at Huddersfield and already he's heading to his former employers back at Hillsborough. Now, after how everything unfolded between Moore and Chancery over the summer, you just know that. Moore's going to have this Huddersfield squad fired up for this fixture like you wouldn't believe. He'll surely be desperate to get one over on Chancery, especially in this sort of matchup. From a Sheffield Wednesday perspective, if they are going to dig themselves out of this hole, they find themselves in the bottom three. Like we've said with a few other sides previously, their home form will have to be absolutely pivotal in doing that. It's not been the case so far, and while I'm sure Darren Moore will receive a good reception by the Wednesday fans, I just think he'll get one over on his former employers here. Score prediction, going to go for a tactical masterclass 1-0 away win on the road for Huddersfield there. Finishing things off for today's video with Southampton going up against Rotherham. Now, from a Southampton perspective, these really are the sort of matches that they need to be put into bed if they are going to be a serious contender in the promotion hunt this season. Rotherham, while well, they have had a threat in plenty of their home matches on the road that's not really been the case for the Millers so far this season as things stand Rotherham are the only side in the championship yet to pick up a single point on the road of the five games they've played away from home so far this season they've only scored two goals and they've conceded 13 in that time usually the game plan is to sort of sit in look to soak up a lot of pressure then look to hit teams either on set pieces or counters and while Southampton definitely are vulnerable from those positions and I could see Rotherham getting a little bit of joy from those set piece scenarios especially with how comfortable Southampton tend to be on the ball I just see them knocking it around Rotherham in this game and creating too many chances where unless Johansson has an absolute worldie in net for Rotherham I just think Southampton will We'll take it in this one so score prediction here gonna go 3-0 to Russell Martin's men but guys there we have it that will now wrap it up for today's video thank you very much for tuning in if you did go into enjoy make sure to leave like and do stick around and subscribe for some regular championship content make sure to get your predictions in the comments down below as well always interested to see which way you guys are going for a lot of these matches but other than that thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next one